and read it. The Mystic Path to Cosmic Power. All right. I done talked about this book so many times. So many times. And one of the things it says, how to feel great every minute. What a pleasure to hear from someone, frankly, admit a confusion in order to clear it up. I don't understand. You say that emotional pains are caused by illusions or or not. I feel the pain. My son calling me. A man certainly suffers from a frightening nightmare. But when he wakes up, where is the suffering? Whenever confronted by a particular disturbing emotion, you may wonder, wonderingly inquire, is it really possible to arise above this? With perfect assurance, you may tell yourself, yes, even this. It's one part on here. You feel good not because the, this is the this this is one of the parts. Okay, it's a is a few quotes in here I absolutely love. Recently, I was standing on a corner in downtown Los Angeles, waiting to cross the street. The traffic signal suddenly went crazy. Blinking senselessly from stop to go, go to stop. Confused pedestrians started, stopped, swirled around, started again. No one knew what to do. That is what happens to people who emotionally signals are out of order. They just don't know what to do. The entire secret of success with your emotions is this. You feel good not because the world is right. But your world is right because you feel good. We start with that all-powerful principle of the mystic path, self-awareness. We must become acquainted with our emotional household. We must see our feelings as they actually are, not as we assume they are. This breaks their hypnotic and damaging hold on us. Negativities are like weeds in a deep basket. When we bring them to the surface of the basket of, of our awareness, the winds of reality carry them away. Don't hesitate to challenge any negative feelings you discover within yourself. That is a giant step towards their dismissal. Over many years of lecturing and counseling, I found many people hesitant to question their negative condition. They fear there may not be an answer, but we must dare to ask anything and everything, especially when suspecting that the answer may be contrary to our present opinion. This gradually awakens the intuitive self, which explains everything to us. When I tell you this book is so good, it is so good. How to understand negative emotion grabs this basic fact about negative emotions all arise from a false sense of identity. We think we are the false self, but we are not. Ego is really talking about. Every painful feeling, sadness, envy, guilt, insecurity is sour fruit of the false self. What a great day when we see this. We can destroy the sour fruit by chopping down, by chopping the tree down at its trunk. Then how differently we greet each morning when you need to get this book you need to get this book i remember when it said talked about depression oh my goodness this listen this really did it for me because you may feel like oh i'm not supposed to feel this way right i'm not supposed to feel this way i'm not supposed to feel that way let me tell you something your emotions and how you feel is relevant all right don't try to sweep them under the rug don't try to, um, you know, sort of act like they not there. No, they there. Okay. Acknowledge. They want to be acknowledged, your emotions. And the more you acknowledge it and understand that you are not anger. Okay. You experiencing or you, you may feel that way in a now moment, but you are not anger. Some people say, you know, they claim things like, oh, they depression, they anxiety. I don't claim none of those things. You know, it's something that you experience, but you can always move at any given time. I hope this helps someone out there. OK, because I definitely needed to read this tonight and reread it. OK, with that being said, Mystic Path to Cosmic Power.